What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I am Denver Gamer. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Wii backup games or backups of your Wii games to put on your external hard drive for your Nintendo Wii, and you can have all your games in one place. So let's get cracking. So without further ado, go to the first link in the description, and that will take you to this GitHub page with CleanRip version 2.2.0. We are going to download this zip file here. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I will extract that file using WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'll have a link to both utilities in the description. And I'll get a little folder on my desktop that says apps. I will also have a readme here. If you open that, you can see the change log of all the things that have been fixed and changed over the life of this app. What you will want to do is take the contents of this apps folder and put that in the apps folder on your SD card. The prerequisite for this video is you should already have a homebrewed Wii. If you do not have a homebrewed Wii, go check out the Wii modding playlist on my channel. I have several methods to choose from, and you can start there. Go ahead and eject your SD card, and let's hop on over to the Wii. You can see I have the game House of the Dead Overkill in here. The House of the Dead Overkill. Love that opening. All right, so go ahead and open the homebrew channel. And let's start up Clean Rip. Disclaimer, the author is not responsible for any damages that could occur to any removable device used within this program. Press A to continue. Enable checksum calculations. Yes, we want to verify the data that comes off our disk. USB or SD card. I am doing the SD card. I'm just trying to get this rip over to my computer. And then I'm going to use it in Dolphin, I think. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. The SD card is in the Wii, so press A to continue. Download the DAT files from redump.org. Yes, you're going to compare against a perfect version of the disk that's cataloged on redump.org and you want to make sure you get a perfect rip so yes you will need to be connected to the internet for this step all right my wii game is in there so i'm going to press a to continue and now as initializing the disc i'm going to have a couple more options dual layer here is a list of dual layer disks. Those are basically eight and a half gigabyte Wii disks. There's only a handful of them. So the answer is no. Chunk size, I always set it to max. And new device per chunk, you're gonna say no. Assuming you guys have larger than one or two gigabyte SD cards or external hard drives, the max chunk size and the new device per chunk are for very small storage devices. So I'm assuming you guys are using something bigger than four to eight gigabytes. Remember the settings? Hell yeah, I don't wanna keep saying them. And here we go. This process is gonna take about a half an hour, give or take. It kinda of bounces around a little bit, anywhere from about 25 to 30 minutes, at least for a regular size game. Dual layer, I'm assuming, would take twice as long. Let's go ahead and fast forward this and we're gonna get this wrapped up. All right, there we go. And you can see right here, we had the data verified that it is great. I'm not sure if it's perfect. I would think that redump.org has a perfect checksum of the disk. I have a very mint, mint copy of this game. Go ahead and press B to exit. And we're going to take the SD card and put it back over into our computer. All right, so here is our SD card. You can see that we got four files from this dump. You don't need the BCA file. The dump info text file has all of the dump information to verify the data in different ways. The other two files, the parts of the ISO, we're going to copy out into an empty folder and we are going to join them back together using the command prompt. I have already copied them over in the spirit of time for this video. And let's zoom in here. Click on the address bar within the File Explorer app and type in CMD. 
and press enter. That will bring up the command prompt. You are going to copy and paste a line of code that I have in the video description, which is going to join the two files together and make them one game.iso file. And then you can rename it from there to whatever you want. It will only take a second and you will have your full size ISO file. I'm going to go ahead and delete the parts of the ISO file and I will keep my game.iso. I will rename it and check this out. I'm going to throw this into Dolphin real quick and I'm going to play House of the Dead Overkill with a mouse. And it is so satisfying to play shooter games with your mouse through emulation. It's awesome. You shoot everybody like a god. You're like so much faster than with a Wiimote. So there you have it, everybody. That is how to rip and make your own Wii game backups and do it the legal way, the above board way, because I know none of you guys are those dirty pirates out there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like my video, share my video, comment on this video, help each other out in the comments. I can't respond to every single one, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to connect outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter where I post video game stuff and top 10 lists, as well as an Instagram where you can see my collection and pickups. I also have a TikTok. You can see Groot, Rocket, and Gamora, my Great Danes, and shorter videos. And I also have a Facebook page you can follow as well. So I look forward to connecting with you.